Hey you guys, it's me, Crystal, and I'm doing the book haul today because I got some books and I'm really, really, really excited about one of them in particular. And so while I have my books stacked up next to my computer because, you know, I get books and I catalog them and I put them up. And so I'm like, while they're here, let's talk about the books and make a video. Yeah, also, not that anybody's going to notice, but I am wearing the same shirt that I was wearing in my last two videos. And I am filming on a completely different day, but I'm wearing the same shirt. So, not that anybody notices because it's a dark shirt, but if for some reason you notice and you're like, weren't you wearing that shirt, like in your last three videos, and it's like, yes, I wear the shirt a <laughs> Okay, so, I did pre-order a book. It does not come out until the 29th. And it is The Lost Causes of Bleak Creek by uh, Rhett McLaughlin and Link Neal. And they are YouTubers. They host Good Mythical Morning. And it's, I think it's about like these high school kids and they find a dead body in a creek. And like there's like some, some kind of secret um, stuff going down at the college, I think, and they're, like, trying to solve the mystery and figure out where all these dead bodies are coming up, or maybe it's not the college, maybe it's some kind of camp. I don't know, but it sounds interesting, and it's Red and Link, so of course I'm going to get it, because, you know, curiosity. Also, I really like the cover of this book. And then I got an ebook by Lynn Weingarten. I think if it's not right I don't have the book in front of me you get you'll you'll see her name on the front of the book but it's bad girls with perfect faces and I've been wanting to get this book for a while and so I finally decided to pick it up and I'll explain why in a second and um, this is about um, this girl she's like friends with this guy and he has this terrible girlfriend who um, like keeps hurting him and cheating on him or whatever or maybe she just cheated on once. I don't know. Anyway, the main character, like, pretends to be a guy online to try to get this girl to slip so that she'll have proof that she's no good for her friend, like, when they get back together again. And, I don't know, it just sounds really interesting. And I don't know if it will be, but I was listening to some of the audiobook. I got the ebook, but I was listening to some of the audiobook, and I was like, I really want to read this book. Okay, so basically what happened, originally, I was going to buy, like, five books. And as you will see... I bought more than five bucks. So what happened was that I was going through my Amazon cart to kind of see if there was anything else I want. Because I do this, like I'm like, oh, I'm buying a few bucks. So let me scroll through my Amazon cart to see if there's anything else I want to buy. Well, this takes forever because there were 330 items in the cart, which is just ridiculous, right? And so <laughs> I made a mission to get down... Um, it's close to 90% as possible. So I got down to 41 items, which originally I got down to 60, and then over the course of the next week, I got down to 41. And so I've made a deal with myself that you are not allowed to add any more items to this cart unless you delete something. So my goal is to get the total number of items saved in the cart to 10 or 0. And so therefore, I don't have these things I'm just holding on to for months and months and months because that's just ridiculous. But while I was going through everything and deleting things and deciding what books um, I'm going to put on their to-read list on Goodreads and what books I want to buy now, what books I'm just going to leave in the cart. And there are a few other things other than books, but it was mostly books and movies and I pretty much deleted all the movies. Um, because I'm like, if I don't remember to buy it, then do I want it? Like, no. But, like, sometimes a book, there's a pre-order, and I don't know when the book is coming out, but I want to miss it, so <laughs> I just leave it in the cart. So, and out of all the books, I did get seven of them at Barnes & Noble, because I was just like, why not get them all today? And also, one of the books was $7, and it was like $16 or $17 or something on Amazon. And I'm just like, yeah, why pay more when you can pay less? One of the books that have been in my cart for a while is this classic horror collections uh, fully il illustrated four box set. And it is a Dracula, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, Frankenstein, and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And the books look like this. And so I don't remember when I found out about these books. It was, it could have been two years ago. But I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know if they're out of print. Um, this is kind of what. Dr. Jekyll looks like inside. Oh, and in case you want to see all the covers, this is this cover. And Frankenstein. 
Sleepy Hollow and Dracula. And I've actually, I have read um, the actual Dracula book and the Sleepy Hollow story, um, but I'm going to read them again, illustrated. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have Frankenstein and I'm pretty sure I have Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde too, um, but I haven't read those yet. Okay, so next, this came out the beginning of October, Giant Days Volume 11. So, of course, um, I picked this up as soon as it came out. We have our fun artwork in this. And so, yeah, as I say, every single time I talk about these books, it's just a trio of college friends and, you know, life, love, and the pursuit of happiness in a fun way although you know sometimes they go through things that are less fun which I obviously enjoy a little bit less but it's still really good so so next I got some comic books and so I got um, Batman Hush I have no idea what this is about um, this is a back and I think my sister said she read this and liked it or maybe she there was one of these that she said she read and liked and another one that she said that she couldn't remember if she read it or not but I don't remember which one it was but here's some of the artwork and this one wow, it looks really good so <laughs> that's exciting and then I got the long Halloween and that's what this one looks like and we have some interesting artwork in here I'm pretty sure this is the one where there's like a whole lot of Batman villains in them. I don't know what my sister said, but anyway, they both are like, you know, people seem to really like this and Hush. And so since, you know, I'm in a DC Comics mood, I picked some DC Comics up. So, and then I got The Killing Joke. Um, this is not that long, and I already read this, so. I want to show you some artwork near the beginning so I don't accidentally, like, show a spoiler page or something. But, yeah. This is, like, um, I guess, like, a Joker origin story. Even though it still it doesn't, like, tell you, like, exactly who he is. Like, it doesn't, like, tell you his name. But, like, you get to see, like, what his life was like and kind of what happened to, like, make him snap and, like, make him crazy and, like, you know, how he fell into a batch of chemicals or whatever. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I added this to my cart the day I saw the Joker movie, um, which is really good. <laughs> I mean, both of these are really good. Like, this is good, and then the Joker movie was good. Here's the back of the killing joke. He looks crazy, man. Okay, so this next book is really heavy. And it's Carly Quinn and the Gotham City Sirens. This is the omnibus. Here's the front and here's the back. And, you know, it's a bunch of DC female villains. And so, you know, I like villains. So I think this is all of the Gotham City Sirens together. And so here is some of the artwork in there. You know, obviously... Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, Catwoman, and maybe some other people will show up in this. And also, this is what the book looks like without the cover. So, it looks really good. So, the next book I picked up while I was going through my cart is The Winter Sisters by Tim Westover. Um, I actually got this book used with another book that's also about witches that's also in my cart and it's still in my cart. Um, but this one is about like there's this guy and he goes um, to this small town to like do something like maybe investigate something or like bring science to the small town and then there are like these healers there and some people call them witches and they're like working together and something sinister is happening I don't know the formatting is interesting like I don't read too many books where like it's this high up on the page I know it's a weird thing to notice but like it's just not normal okay and I can't tell if this is a printing error or if this is what it's supposed to look like but it doesn't matter um the outside looks great and i'm sure it will read just fine and it's not that long but anyway um next i got this poetry book it's nocturnal by wilder and that's the entire that's the entire poet's name and that's what the back looks like so yeah, so this has been my cart for a while, and so I finally decided to pick it up, 
and the cover is kind of reflective I don't know if you can tell but anyway also I wanted to note like normally I don't like when a poetry book has little illustrations because it just looks kind of messy and tacky in my opinion <laughs> but these illustrations actually look really nice and so like I was flipping through it and like you can see like they're like I don't know there's like an order to them and it's like neat and it looks like really good and they're not like just slapped on there and all over the place there's like it looks like you know some care was taken with the design so I actually really like the illustrations in this and also this is some fancy paper like this is some glossy thick paper so you know it's nice quality <laughs> fuck so uh, speaking of things that have been in my cart for forever um i finally picked up the uh, forgotten book by mitch child Gla glasser i can't say her name <laughs> but um this is a book about this girl and she's like i think she's at a boarding school or something and she finds this book and everything she writes in it comes true which i'm like hello so um, I mean, obviously, not sold right away, but, you know, eventually. So, obviously, you know, things go awry, or it would be no fun, and, yeah. And another bug that's been in my car for way too long is, um, Nevermore by Kelly uh, Craig. There's a name. So, this is, like, an Edgar Allan Poe-esque kind of book and it's about like this popular girl and she's like forced to work on a project with like this goth guy and they like fall into some darkness or something I don't know it just sounded really interesting also why is this book so thick for some reason in my head I thought this book was gonna be like 250 pages but no it's like over 500 pages but I'm not mad but I, it was a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know how that happened. But anyway, I didn't want to get this book for a while. So I picked it up while I was cleaning out my cart. So I've been really excited about this book. So I picked up the manga classics Dracula. Um, Dracula by Bram Stoker. And I do not know what... This book is so glossy. I don't know what took this book also this is super thick this is like probably the thickest manga classic that I have on my shelf thus far anyway I'm reading this book like right now because it came out on the 10th and I literally called Barnes and Noble to see if they had it in stock because like Amazon I don't know what was going on with Amazon but Barnes and Noble had it in stock and I held my breath until I got there because I thought there was a problem again because this was originally supposed to come out uh, fall of last year and it did not and so then they're like okay it's coming out this fall and then when I looked at Barnes and when I looked at Amazon to see if the order was going to ship like that day um they said that the hardcover wasn't coming out until like next year and then this one was out of stock and so of course i freak out and then i check an hour later and they're like well it's in stock but it hasn't shipped yet and i was i was like i really really want this book like right now and so i went to barnes and noble and picked it up barnes and noble to the rescue and don't ask me why i wanted to read this so much because when i read dracula I found it extremely difficult to read but this has pictures and it's like this won't be hard to read because there are pictures <laughs> even though the text is the same and I don't know if this is a text in its entirety I know some of the Shakespeare ones have the text in its entirety but regardless I wanted this super bad and started reading it the day I got it so and also, they have, like, a website where they're supposed to be updating you on, like, upcoming titles, and they never said what happened. You know, they only said, oh, it's coming out October 10th, 2019, and it's like, are you sure? But, yeah, Barnes & Noble had it, so. And then I picked up The Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, and this was a YA book club edition again, even though I think this is more like new adult. Before I tell you what this book is about though, I really don't like anything on this cover except the snake. 
um, but I really like the spine and that's what I'm going to be looking at so that's good <laughs> but in any case this is about um, this girl she like I don't know is living on the street or like I don't know selling drugs or something I don't know she's like having a hard life and these people come up to her and they're like hey we'll pay your way through like this ivy league college and all we want you to do is investigate like this secret society for us and obviously there's some like you know witchcraft and like occultic stuff and like dark magic stuff going on with this secret society um so i'm like <laughs> this is right up my alley and so anyway I, I picked this book up and this is what the naked hardcover looks like if anybody wanted to know there is a um there's like a stamp right here of like some kind of compass or something but yeah but now in my last book haul I mentioned buying a book because I had a snake on the cover and I do really like the snake but I like it when like bookstores and stuff can get like special editions but like you guys the Waterstone edition of this book is gorgeous the snake is this like metallic blue and like there's this like blue gradient cover and it's so pretty and I'm like can I order a book from Waterstones I mean it's not that serious but it's really freaking pretty <laughs> okay so these last two books are by the same author and I'll start with this one. This is the one that has been in my cart for a while. And um, I was going to get it in the paperback. But then I found out the hardcover looks like this. And I'm like, okay, first of all, this is so creepy. Second of all, it's awesome. So I got the hardcover because it was awesome. And there's like a hole in it. And it looks like this. So it's Hidden Sea by Gregory McGuire. And this is the guy who wrote Wicked. And I have the book, Wicked. And I tried to read it. Okay, you guys, I do not like talking to animals in books. And there are a few things that I find deeply terrifying. <laughs> and talking animals is one of them. And I don't like goats. And Dr. Dillamon is like a goat and he's he's sitting up on his hind legs and he's wearing a suit and he's talking and i literally had a nightmare about it and like this was years ago i was still when i was living in my apartment so i don't know how long ago this was it's probably 10 years ago maybe longer and all i could do because like in my nightmare and it's like he wasn't doing anything creepy in the book in my nightmare but it was a nightmare because he was he just existed and he was just standing by my front door and i couldn't leave the house because i was terrified <laughs> and so i stopped reading the book and i was almost halfway through i have i intend to finish the book one day but i just couldn't at the time i don't know i'm older now maybe i can do it Maybe I've gotten tougher over the years, I don't know. But this is a Nutcracker retelling, and I don't know the plot outside of that, but it's not that long. And so I got it from Barnes & Noble, but anyway. And then while I was looking through some of his other books, I saw this, Mirror Mirror, which is obviously a Snow White retelling, but like, he, like the evil queen is Lucretia Borgia, and if you don't know anything about the Borgias, you know it's it's interesting <laughs> and so i was like how is she the wicked stepmother and so i think this is snow white and then this is like the other book where there's like a cutout and then you have lucrezia and her brother set Ches Ches i think that's his name so outside of that graphic novel by neil gaiman that i read last month i have yet to be able to get through a snow white retelling in a non-graphic novel format. Um, I tried like at least two other Snow White retellings and, and I just couldn't do it. And so I'm hoping, I'm hoping I like this one. It's not that long of a book. You know, it's not like the reviews are stellar, but most of the reviews are people whining about how it's not Wicked. And I'm like, well, I haven't read Wicked. And I didn't love the plot in Wicked anyway. So, <laughs> I mean, I love the music. But anyway, I really wanted this, so I got it. <laughs> so obviously I'm not going to hold up all those books because there's a lot and they're heavy. But those are all the books that I bought this month because I'm like, why be responsible and just buy a few books when you can buy 14? Sorry, I'm 
gonna put these books up and you know read some of them and also I had a TBR for October and I'm totally not even I don't even care what's on the TBR the only thing on the TBR I know for sure I'm reading is a Dracula manga and I was so worried that it wasn't going to come out <laughs> like I was thinking about it every day but it did come out and I have it and you know I'm gonna go hug my book and yeah so hopefully this video is not as long as it is on my phone and I will see you guys in the next video which should be my Lit Joy Crate unboxing so I will see you guys then and I hope you're having a great month and let me know if you've read any of these books and if you love them, and that, that is all, and later. Bye.